Oh, and we're back. Man, you remember when I cut out the other day whenever I screamed? That's exactly what happened right there. You just went, eh! Uh, oh! Uh, oh, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 oh! It went back with that broke get to. Except mine was because of a gate. <laughs> Yeah, well, <clears throat> we're back now, and I'm not hosting anymore, so we're not going to have to worry about the game freezing up or me finding something to fuck up. Who's so freezing? it's going to be a good day. Who? Huh? <laughs> fuck <just> off. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, guys. <laughs> the last loser's bracket matchup of the day, of the tourney, of the season... Vividation versus the anti-terrorist terrorist club. Yeah, it's all. Uh, I want to say come down to this, but we still have another game after this. But I mean, for one of these teams, it's it's all come down to this, whether it be Vividation or ATTC. This is the last game of the season for them. Yeah, um, you know, we've talked about it all day and yesterday. Back to backs are tough, especially when you lose those back to backs. Or lose they the are, first. Wasn't, lose the first. Was, wasn't there a time when that happened to you or something like that? Uh, I don't recall. <laughs> yeah, it's it's going to be a tough one. They're going to have to have some mental fortitude to get past that last round, find what they did wrong or what they could improve upon and, and really uh, improve upon it quickly. Uh, and that's pretty much where they have to go here. Yeah. Um, you see that uh, uh, Los Chicos took out Vividation, uh, and Los Chicos also took out uh, ATTC. And here they are. They're meeting in, uh, was this, Game 9 here uh, uh, to play each other. So whoever goes after this will have their matchup right back with Los Chicos to get their, uh, uh, to get their revenge, potentially. Yeah, and then, uh, I, I will say this. No one, well... I can't say no one, but I feel like no one expected the output that ATTC is showing out this weekend. Um, they are really, they are really playing well. Um, even in the loss just now, they still were putting up a fight. Yeah. Um, I, one I, one thing, one little change to one round, and we could be sitting here talking about uh, two different teams playing. Absolutely. I, it's it's a it's a tough one for them to uh, have lost there. I don't actually remember the game between Los Chicos and Vividation. Uh, this, I, do you happen to remember it off off chance what the score of that was? Um, Vividation won kitchen dining on chalet two times, and that was basically it. Okay, so uh, if we're if we're comparing both game. games, if we're comparing both games to the games against Los Chicos. You would uh, probably put some money on ATTC if they can continue to play at the caliber that they were just playing. Yeah, but they but, do have a mountain ahead of them. Vividation is looking very oiled right now. They are an oily bunch. I will give them that. Um, and Vividation's had a, a game break. They, they're not having to go straight into a game two here. But... If ATTC wins, or Vividation, really, um, ATTC would be looking at a third game in a row. Vividation would be looking at a second game in a row. Mm -hmm. um, so, man, going to be crazy. Yeah, the, the loser's bracket is, is a hard one to climb through, especially going into that Champions um, uh, game where you have to you got to play two. Yeah. Uh, so you've got to win two in a row against a team that hasn't lost yet. Yeah. So it's it's rough, but um, that's that's the way it happens. So. Yeah, so um, we are, as you can see, going to go to Villa. Villa, Villa. And we haven't seen it this major, I believe. Haven't seen it. I don't we have not. We have had this on the major yet so um buckle up everybody because it's about to get wild buckle up buckaroos
shit. Oh, shit. And we're here, boys and girls. We back <clears throat> into the banning phase. Vividation picking it up first. We'll, uh, I'm assuming we're going to see Thatcher getting yeeted off the board here. Shocking. Who and... would have thought? Uh, attack. ATTC is banning here. You know what this means? They're going to have Jackal. Uh, I mean, as long as uh, they don't pull a wild, just get a wild hair. That, I mean, Jackal's going to be there. There's no way the ATTC is going to ban the Jackal. It, it's such a strong operator for them. They're going to go ahead and get Flores off and not have to worry about those little mine or explosive drones. Valkyrie getting a little bit less intel on the map here uh, for Vividation on defense. I think it's a solid ban. Uh, who are we looking at defense? Always on, love on to see. One? I would say maybe a Mira or Kai. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. yeah. Easy enough. Yeah. So that does leave. That does leave the Jackal back on the board for Wandsboro. I'm looking forward to seeing what he can pull out here against Vividation. Because it, it it was scary the last time he played it. Uh, um, yeah. So this will be a this will be a good one. Wait, did they? Did they play earlier? These two. Who did who did ATTC play first earlier in the day? Interested to know. Thank you. I, I was sitting here. I, I'm losing my mind. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> we have our picks, and uh, see if there's any six picks coming in here. It doesn't. Oh yeah. Uh, I was looking from left to right. I was like, we don't have uh, a jackal, and then jackals at the very end. So, <laughs> pretty That's obvious here. I would, uh, I would expect maybe a mute uh, for them to be able to place around to get rid of uh, uh, the jackal, jackal pings because I'm, I'm pretty sure that's how that works, is it not? Um, sorry, I was betting channel points because everyone was hounding me about betting channel points. So, 10k bet on the line. You're welcome. Uh oh. Well, I gotta Speaking get of over that speed here. deck, um, there's something we haven't really got into uh, today that we kind of normally do when we cast together. Um, any inside bets on the, on the rounds? You know what? I'm... I don't know. Um, will Jack will Jackal get a kill off of a ping? Well, let's let's make it a little more broad. Will there be a kill that comes from result of a Jackal ping? Yes. You heard it here. And Tom, it's going down. Wick. Insane. He was he was not having that. Yeah. ATTC gonna, going ahead and going down get, one. They're probably going to go ahead and get in and get those feet. Get them feet picks, ones. And those aren't actually his. I don't think. Oh no, it is. They do know that he has retreated. Do they have rotation protection here? They do have the nomad to toss down on those uh, oh, Astro stairs. Nobody's playing Whatever ninety. Two roamers underneath. <clears throat> not really, a, uh, you know, they're kind of moving up quick, but. Not. Oh, and Paladin Longford gets another eight. one. Out. That's a that's a tough time. They're they're gonna have to do something uh, to deal with the roam here, but they are aware that Paladin's at the end, taking a good chunk of Paladin's health out. Yeah, that's a pretty nice spray, but they oh. do have the healing stations on site. T almost going down, but taking out Oak, not okay. 
Oh my. Just a quick peek from Baby Merchant taking out landmines. That's rough. Paladin taking a good amount of damage here. So is Rock and Roll. Paladin T. with a triple. Babo holding this 90 corner, waiting for someone to take a peek. He does get the peak kill. Papo the last alive, getting a double. double kill right here. Leaving two left, Rock and Pseudo. Papo's feeling it. Still got a little time. That's a long ways away to try and get this. Not sure if he has any cams anywhere. Oh, he might get a cheeky kill. Rock taking a good amount of damage, but getting healed right back up. Oh, and that's a nifty little spot. And the smoke's gonna do its job. That is unfortunate. Just on the edge, takes him out. That's rough. Yeah, um... Three piece out of Paladin there, Bapo with a double kill. Um, but that Paladin Rome was just too much. They couldn't quite pin him down. Oh, man. All right. Well, we're going back into it. We're keeping the Jackal on the board. It looks like everything is pretty. Well, the Twitch is coming out. I don't think we had a Twitch last round, but I think everything else is pretty no, much I the same. I believe he was on a Yana. You're right. Yep. <clears throat> Having that to, Thunderbird is huge. Yeah, the Thunderbird saved uh, them twice, giving two of them almost most of their health back. That's a, that's a big one for them right there. Attackers need to locate and defuse as many bombs as they can. Moving into Statuary and Trophy. Nothing crazy on this map so far out of uh, Divination, you know? You're used to seeing some different setups and things we haven't really seen before. But uh, nothing really too crazy so far. I think uh, they may they may win a couple. Um, or I think they may be attempting to win a couple then uh, pull some of that out. That would be my guess. It's down to the wire here for them to be able to get into this uh, uh, this last spot for the finals. Yeah. <clears throat> Wouldn't be a bad idea. They are Looks like most of them. The yep, most of them pushing from that side, taking a little peek around the corner there, Wandsboro is. Do we have the roam coming out currently from Paladin? Um, I think Paladin, yep, he is actually on the room. I thought he was on the side. Down in Kitchen, seeing if we can find anyone here. No one in that specific spot, but Bapo getting dropped. taken out by not okay. Nice opening frag there. Attackers recovered. Oh, this is... Reloading! Oh. Finish reloading before you step back out, my man. Paladin's gonna get Wands. that jackal again. Wands finds the jackal. It looks like they know how to deal with jackals coming around on the board. They're having a fairly dominant experience here. Comet's going down right after one. Not okay with uh, a little bit of health gone, but getting it right back because uh, the, uh, the what Kona you call it. Yeah. Thank you, Kona Station. A lot of work for T and landmines to try to do here. It's tough to pull it out. Activate shot drone. Not much to work with, but they do still Bob have a minute and fifteen. Uh, at least they, yeah, like you said, at least they didn't wait a long time to get in there. We do have Paladin at the bottom oh. of the stairs there. That's takes a nice shot off nope. of that bar bar. That's hard to see. And if he Baby takes Merkin one gasp of that smoke, he is gone. Attackers have located a bomb. <clears throat> Just like he's taking out Scudo. T 
he attempting for a little bit of shots here, holding his angle. See if he can find anybody long range here. He may get a visual here in just a second. Oh no! No! Hey man, takes out not okay, but Paladin and Rock and Roll sweep up the last two. That is these timing at its best. Oh man, if he just holds it for one more second. I feel like the rule should be if you're looking to do something else after holding a position for a minute, wait another like three seconds and then do that thing. Like you say, all right, I'm going to leave. You just wait another three seconds and then go do it. Here's that, the thing, that, though. You, you, you do that, and then you just after that, it's it's still going to happen. It's still going to happen. They're going to be there at five seconds rather yeah. than yeah. A, a second later. No, Osa's not allowed. All right, round starting up. For Vividation, looking pretty good. Attackers need to locate T and, and Landmoss were can. able to battle back a little bit there. Um, you almost, yeah, they gotta, they gotta get the Jackal play working more in their favor. Um, maybe even like scan it, forget it for a little bit. Uh, just keep eyes on him. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. Don't necessarily go tracking after him. Get that intel and then and then just uh, hold it down. I was a little confused just now because they're reinforcing up top, but they are indeed underneath in kitchen. Um, don't let the cams for you. They haven't found the bombs yet, so they may just get the confusion on them uh, and get the get the site swap. Well, they know that they just won that site, so they know they can't be there. They know, but do they know no? <laughs> One will okay. soon find out. Looks yeah. like they know. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to come up and shoot that. Like, oh, and a C4 from the bottom. Up through the window, almost takes landmines down. He's down to one health. That is a lot of damage. That's almost all of it. Yeah, that's almost all of the damage. Landmines gonna have to be very careful not to even get sneezed on around the uh, around himself or anywhere, anywhere, anywhere. Words, words hard. <laughs> Give you cookie, got you cookie. Not much on the blue right yet. here. Paladin does seem to go be going back to this exact same spot multiple times, so he seems to be kind of holding it there. Baby merchant moving alongside uh, and kind of getting in the same area. I think they're going to come on in from the basement here. Yeah, it's a cap can trap. Gotta love him. He is about to ping a cap can, which he just saw another trap there. Gets tracked, but he doesn't care. Goes ahead and pushes it anyway. Now he's going to retreat. <clears throat> Comets is Comets. down. Down he goes. Yeah. This is, a, this is a rough time that they're having here. Landmine's going down as well. Comets getting confirmed, leaving us with a half health wands, bro, and a full health T. Paladin is playing the absolute waiting game here. And it seems to just have it out for uh, Wandsboro. And that'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> Love to be able to call it. <clears throat> Literally landed on his face. That's unfortunate. Uh, as we get into this next round, uh, I need just a moment, and I will be right back at my desk. I will not be.
I will be here. I lied. <clears throat> Paladin with seven kills. T not okay and rock and roll both with three or all three with three. Uh, Landmines and Bapo with two. Um, Pseudo and Baby Merchant with one, not having to really do much uh, just yet. And Wands and Comets both with zero. And uh, ATTC really needing those guys to get it going. Yeah, it's uh, this, this is a tough one to it kind of come back from here. Uh, going down 3-0 to start with, they're really going to have to pull just three back at, at, at max. I mean, obviously, there's only a max of three more for uh, them attacking. But if they can pull two back and then go on a tear for defense, I think they can they can still feel pretty good about it. Vividation, on the other hand, is just kind of having their way with it, doing yeah. what they want and having fun doing it. Yeah. Uh, Paladin on, has been um, phenomenal this game so far. He's definitely showing up today uh, for, for this match. We'll see if that continues or if ATTC has other plans. We'll see. They're going to have to try to figure something out here, though. All pushing from this northeast side of the villa. Probably going to come on up and just clear out from the master side. As you can see, Paladin is sitting there waiting. I think they need to do a a decent amount more droning than what they're doing currently because uh, they need to get Paladin feeling unsafe feeling wherever he's at to completely back him out of there yeah it doesn't seem like they're getting enough intel and, and Paladin is just abusing it They are in the bathroom here. Not okay, Mike. I like they do at least know that he's there. there. A bomb has been located. Paladin has Love the music. Downstairs. Paladin's taking some damage here. And that's an open flag for ATTC. Hadn't happened yet. I don't think. They get an air jab down on those Astro stairs. That's a um, great question, and I would assume yes. They just pinged him. Um, don't go chasing. I don't. I want to see him. I want to see him just use the intel and move on. They are getting the vault wall opened up here. Um, hopefully, someone's watching those stairs. Comments get pseudo. This, this is more of what they need here. If they can keep this up, they have a chance to run this three back. Paladin is moving up behind them. Get that air jab, but it's some, enough noise that they can hear him. Paladin is slivers of health here. I think Wandsboro was the one he was looking at. They're just going to hold the angle. I'm not it's a good move. Comets gets another kill. Maybe Merchant is the last one on site. Paladin being the last one available. Flawless round going out to the attackers ATTC here. And that is that's a that's a great play by them. Uh to come back from that 3-0 deficit to to bring back a match here. If they can keep that up and keep Paladin in check. Uh, to where he's not able to kind of run around wherever he wants to. Yep. Uh, they're going to be able to take another uh, couple matches here to finish off mm -hmm. their attacking rounds. That's what they needed. Um, Comets got on the board there. He had a big round with two kills. Um, Juan's still looking for one, but um, those jackal pings, you know, that's more. Some some would say that might might be better than a kill. Um, so about the same I'm lineup up here. Um, and they are going to go to Trophy Statue this time. Maybe they reinforce Kitchen. Defend Maybe. Protect your bombs Never know. By attackers. <laughs> They're just playing games with us. Joke. They're obviously just going to play side. You guys. You can stop worrying about grenades. 
Hey, you guys. He does use two claws on this wall versus just throwing one. Um, but he's throwing them high enough that um, I don't know if the Cali would even be able to get that or not. But it doesn't matter. I don't have one. Very true. Big brain. Attackers are moving out to locate a bomb and defuse it. Bow, 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 bow. You know. So here we are doing a pretty decent little run here. Not okay. Holding up in the uh, in study here. Did a bullet make the sound like someone had hit that that door? Because I swear it sounded like someone hit that door. Yeah, it must have been. I I honestly don't know. He is getting droned out. Oh, it's probably better for you to just go ahead and run there, not okay. If Wansbro taking a good amount of damage, but not okay is as well. Rock and roll is there to help him. He's gonna get out and go get some health. Uh, he's not gonna be able to. Yes, he is. Sorry, looking the wrong wrong side. Kona stations are OP. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's definitely been a lifesaver for them. So, like, you know, maybe not. To that extent, but it's definitely been a help. Fresh fire going in. Just clearing it out, making sure they can actually move up. Not okay. Takes a little more damage from the switch drone there. Just to show him who's boss here. Oh, and. He Good damage going to rock and roll there. Well, like we said, I mean, with those Kona stations. Yeah. It doesn't matter because he's back up to full. Yep. You've either got to get the kill right off or you got to be pushing hard on these guys because they are going to get the health back. That drone's going to go ahead and drop. Is he going down here. Goodness Comet's aggressive. taking a good amount of damage, getting very aggressive walking in front of that open door. Paladin's, Paladin's going down. down. They're gonna get him up. Huge. There's the kill right there going into not okay. Paladin's still down. Rock and roll going down as well. Comet's getting shot. And mines with another. And it's all up Dudo. to Dudo. Dudo getting taken down for that second. Baby Merchant, yes, like you said, is the last one available, but does have a quick little hole there to take a look through. But not enough for that side gets taken out. By the quick pinch, and this is the ATTC that we were seeing earlier in the day against uh, um, uh, uh, Entry Denial. I keep wanting to say Elite Dangerous. <laughs> 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 anyway, this this is the the gameplay we were seeing earlier. This puts them at a at a bare minimum two four going into their uh, their defensive rounds. Yeah, and uh, Wands did get on the board there. Um... And things are starting to roll a little bit for ATTC. Yeah. ATTC. ATTC. Here we go. <laughs> so it looks like not much changing up on either side here. We do have the Fink coming out on T. Uh, the Maestro on Rock. Uh, Pseudo back on Capkin. So here we go. Going into round six. Attackers need to locate and defuse bombs. Here we go. Yeah. In dining. Um, I am a not everyone's favorite hold. I am a fan of uh, opening this laundry wall at the bottom, open footholds, castling off a lot of the, a lot of it. Holding holding that angle. because um, if you end up I've had a, quite a few kills where if you um, you clear them off of trying to push laundry and then <clears throat> they try to push over here um, in Memorial and while they're pushing into that, that door that doorway here, they're not expecting someone laying down looking through footholes in the site from laundry. Um, yeah. It's happened, it's happened for me quite a bit, and it works out. You see a lot of a lot of that uh, 
style opening that wall now on ranked. At least I think I do anyways. Not sure do about have any higher level. Up top? We have all five on balcony there. It looks like we got Paladin, Baby Merchant. Yeah, Baby back Merchant. Back on that back is, side. Yes. I think he's going to Everyone else was a floor below. Well, alrighty then. We're going to see if they can get a pin coming in on Baby Merchant. We got some people moving pretty close in here. Uh, next room's over. Baby Merchant making plenty of noise here. Yeah, they're He's about to get scanned out. What does Baby Merchant do here? Does he move? Oh yeah, he'll move 100%. Something I'd like to see more of with that jackal is, and that's an opening frag again. Comments. Didn't move very far. <clears throat> they are going to have to start looking out for Capkin traps. They do have pseudo placing Capkin traps around. I didn't see where Ellie put them, but it's going to have to be one to look out for. One right there in front of not okay. Looking for a top down approach. There, I'm not sure, but I do believe Paladin's right under all of that. He's so close to getting shots on him there too. Stacker's bomb diffuser has been dropped. Moving out of danger, Paladin getting back in the little cubby there. We've got just under a minute, 45 seconds left. Well, I think that's what that says. 30, 43, 45. That's okay. Pixel for real. Paladin taking about half damage there. Trying to open up this wall. Landmines getting ready to take some shots. Unable to. They have somebody back there watching that wall. That's Paladin. Able to do that. Paladin killed. Comet's getting the double here from. There's a third rock and roll going down as well. Pseudo and not okay. The last one's alive. Landmines going down. Wandsboro going down. Not okay going down. Comet's taking a little bit of damage. And Pseudo's the last man alive holding this back from being a, a three all. Plant is going down from oh, T. The C4 is coming out, but I don't know that he's going to hit it. He does get the plant. Oh, plant didn't go. Oh, they got and it. And Packers anyway. take the win. Bapo sprinting for the absolute hills there oh, to try man. and get that kill. Great plays, but bringing it back to three all here as they switch sides. And ATTC going on to the defensive uh, side of this map. If Pseudo waits three, four seconds on that C4, it's uh, he saves that round. I, if he waited three to four seconds, the plant wouldn't would have gone down though. The true, plant was already true, going for a, a minute. <clears throat> so if he had waited much longer than what he did, the plant was going to be down. I think he may may have had a second to two seconds left yeah. that he could have waited. And two seconds, I think, is being a little generous, uh, personally. Well, comments has come alive in those last three rounds. He's up to six now. Landmines was seven. Paladin was seven. Uh, Paladin been quiet the last few. Looks like ATTC got some momentum and they're trying Attack to roll with to it. Locate and defuse bombs. <clears throat> we'll see if they can keep it up here on the defensive side. We are going up to uh, what is this? Games and Bar Airplane. Games and I don't know. Thank you. Games and Airplane, same thing. <laughs> I just know there's a big, like, Coke can airplane up in the top there. We don't have the luxury of seeing. You know, that's very unfortunate. The game's literally unplayable if you can't see the airplane there. Nice little drone there. Landmines going out on the roam here. If we remember back to the last game they were playing, landmines being on the roam was an absolute error for Los Chicos Locos and almost turned the entire game on its head. I wonder if they're going to try and just come up those stairs quick. They've been uh, they've been working on the quick side of things. <clears throat> Rock taking a lot of damage right off the bat. Was within a time, the time frame. 
so no rules broken. I need, I need more pixels. <clears throat> I'm working with about eight pixels on screen right now. Well, you know. <laughs> it's what the stream sees that matters. <laughs> That's true. I just, I just can't comment very well on it. You might as well go ahead and get rid of that. He's going to... <clears throat> Hatch is open, so it's gonna take a nade anyways. They are moved up to site. They got There's a potential oh, right oh. there. Who is that? That's Landmines, and he does get Land the kill. <laughs> Landmines doing a number on uh, Paladin right there. Great job. Unfortunately, gets pinched from the other side from not okay. Making this a four all. Once again, rock and roll. Down to about half health still. Is anyone in the building? Okay, they are in study. I thought I thought he died and that was the only one that actually was inside. But when we saw him, that's a nice shot. That nice Still going out on wands. Comet's taking a little bit of damage, but taking out not oh. okay. Comet's the last alive here. Rock and roll is down by his own teammate, but he does not know. They're not gonna get him up. They're gonna go ahead and plan it. Oh, this could be a game changer here. Attackers have located a bomb. Defenders have located the diffuser. Oh! oh. <laughs> that was very close to being a a pretty big upset there. I mean, <laughs> they going they into played. round eight. They played risky there by not getting him. Uh, I do, you know, I like the plant, but it quickly turned into a, oh, crap. This <laughs> We might lose this. Uh, Could have been 3v1. Yeah, it's uh, it's, it's, it's rough uh, to take out a teammate like that uh, and then have your third teammate actually get killed. And you'd be a little, the lone one left to wonder, can I get him up or do I just need to hold it out? Yep. And I, I, he obviously made the right decision because it, it worked out for him, sketchily or not. It worked out. Yeah, and they're going to go. Uh, didn't actually get to see it. Defenders, protect Focus. your bombs from being defeated by attackers. Focus. They are going to go back, AV games. Try it again. Run, Run it, it back. back. See how it goes. They definitely got some guns working, uh, working now, so um, we could be in for a, a good one here. Juan's getting those evil eyes out. Opening the hatches right underneath. Landmines was just a little more careful in watching that other side there. Uh, I think they'd have been alright. Yeah. Because. Uh, that uh, getting landmines out that early and uh, kind of killing off the known roam is uh, is big for vividation there. Yeah, <clears throat> this is a big round here. You don't want to you don't want to lose this one and go down five three. Landmines gonna sit over in Ashford for a little bit. Drones up and running. See if he can catch anyone. Getting aggressive. Oh, and he does get it's one. A shot. <clears throat> Landmines is just on an absolute tear today. I can't fathom it. Baby Merchant takes out T. He's going to go ahead and come around. Try and come back up and get another one, it looks like. Maybe go the other way, but they at least have the pressure up there. That's the biggest part. They're not going to be able to push straight in without uh, doing a good amount of droning. And, yeah. and they've already wa he's wasted probably 30 seconds of their time yeah, just by getting that one kill. 
They have those air jabs on Astro now, so uh, it's going to make it a little more difficult uh, unless he's going to waste the C4 there. But he could, um, you know, if it works out, let's see for get if he gets a kill off of it. Wandsburg taking a little bit of damage there. I'm sure from what. Target detected. Second floor. playing smart on the. Uh, He's getting D opened up there. behind. I hope he moves. Wands taking a little bit of damage there. We're down to a minute left. Still has his evil eye. Getting all those call outs right now. Down goes Baby Merchant. Baby Merchant gets on in mines. Comic going out down. Baby. Bapo down. Wands Bros, the last available. Not okay getting taken out here. Leaving Paladin and Baby Merchant to take the rest of the round, bringing them up to 5 3. I think that was a 4K out of Baby. Um, that's the thing about Vividation, too, is, you know, one guy stops, uh, main, stop get, getting the kills, the other one just going to step up and start doing it for him. That's very true. <clears throat> They're all able to get in there and uh, get some guns running. Taking a look, we got Sudo at the top with seven, Paladin with eight. Uh, baby with six, not okay at five, and Rock with three. Uh, the opposing side here uh, at ATTC, we have Comets with eight, like Landmines with nine, T with four, Bapo with five, and Wands with two. Trophy statue. Uh, got the Goyo coming out. Um, we mean the Goyo. We got the Aruni coming out. Come on. Who's that? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Yeah, so it looks like we're switching it up a little bit, not taking the uh, the evil eyes anymore here. We're going to go ahead and go with the gates from Aruni and the little punching bags. See if we can punch open some holes. Let's see where he goes. Did you Defenders text him and tell him to go? By I did. I said, you play Aruni right now or I will ban <laughs> you from this league. He said, I got you. <laughs> Well, folks, you're not going to see anything other than this for the setup, so uh, buckle up for the next at least 40 seconds. Is there as it should be? Let's go punch those holes. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about, Wands. Get, get the whole hole. Right there. Yeah. Perfect. There you go. Can't beat that. Maybe all we see out of it. Oh, nope. Hey, <laughs> my man. Yeah. <laughs> One last one. One little bookshelf punch there. Oh, he's just going to punch yeah. the, whole thing, the whole thing here. Oh, that's that's good. I like that. I didn't know that was a thing. I guess it is when you have a mechanical arm. <laughs> Do whatever you want. Going to sit there and hold and... See if he has anybody coming from bathroom or Astro stairs. Pseudo, uh, been on the outside here along with the majority of his team, actually. Activating shock drone. Good shot into the hole. Reload. Well, everyone I go to A seems to not really be doing anything at the moment, so. Slower on the uh, entry here this time. Is there any roam coming out from ATC right now? Uh, landmines, you're looking at it. Okay. Oh, perfect, thanks. <laughs> Shot coming out of that, though. Opened up. Paladin's gonna be holding that long angle on that doorway. He leaves it. Wands taking so much damage there. <clears throat> Still up, but very hurt. Sorry about Down that. goes Brock. 
The Bat shot's coming out, baby. baby Merc going down. Juan's taking the rest of his health out. Ooh. Apo right behind him. 3-0 right now. Paladin having a field day here with 2-0. We have Not OK currently down, I think, on the stairs. And also Paladin. Pseudo's the last available person that is up. We're going to see if he gets the pick up here or if he's going to try to uh, yeah, manhandle it himself. It. I think that's the right call here with, uh, with three there. Oh. Not knowing T and landmine the last available. And they're gonna they're gonna try to come up Astro. Well, nope. Looks like he changed his mind there. Not knowing you had those two downs is huge there. And they do get him up. Now it's a three v two. Fifteen seconds. Down he goes. T's the last available member from ATTC here. Keeping it from a stick. Oh, and that'll do it. Flames coming out. Unfortunate. Acknowledged. <clears throat> and I'll start the timer. Hey, Siri. Start a timer for 60 seconds. <clears throat> okay. Uh, give him a... 30 second, uh, 10 and a 5. <clears throat> Tell me when. Oh, I will let you know. We are uh, uh, coming into this last round here. This is, uh, I think, where uh, ATTC took their uh, timeout last time as well uh, when they were kind of up against the ropes. Um, it's it's kind of it's getting difficult for them. 30 seconds. <clears throat> Next will be 10. They are uh, gonna have to figure out something to do here to try and uh, try and hold these guys back. This is the last chance they've got to make it into the make it into the finals. This will this will uh, solidify the third place team. Ten seconds. They've been down three rounds before in this match, so five. They can do it. And timer. Uh. <clears throat> they have been uh and it's it's they're gonna have a rough time um they really gotta gotta this is a very different buckle down. three rounds that are needed here than what they came back from earlier um yep it's on the line here you yeah, can't very much afford so. to slip up this will, uh, like I said, solidify the third place team and the people who will be going on to battle for that first place spot. Juan's going with the Maestro again. <clears throat> Got to go with Old Faithful here. Back to Aviator Games and see if he can uh, get anything done here. Attackers they're gonna, to they're gonna have to, to pull something out of their ass here uh, and, and really do something maybe a little bit different from what they've been doing because it, it hasn't worked too well so far yep um, not on the defensive side they've had rounds where it looked like they may have you know might have won uh, but just the, especially last round the, the revives there were huge um but, you know not knowing that they were down not having the intel on that so they were able to get those revives and push in for a 3v2 and win that round. Um, yep. Versus that 2v1 Attackers that they could have had. Well, this is potentially the last round of the loser's bracket. We'll see how this plays out. Um, something you might see here, you might just see these guys play on. Just go for it with this match point. We've seen it out of them before, where they just like, all right, let's just try to, let's try to get it quick, you know? Um, yeah, the old Chaxter approach, <laughs> the old Chaxter's late for work approach. The I gotta go to work round. <laughs> Landmines going ahead and roaming around the bottom floor here. Shield deployed. 
see if he can hold anybody up. He is getting droned out though. Yep, they do know he is there. Opening up that window. Great music. They they now have control of that half of the map. Uh, no air jabs this time. So keep your eye out on a Astro flank. Not okay is actually gonna just go down those stairs anyway. And he's gonna get landmines. Landmines going down like you said, P taking about half his health. They got visuals. And they are droning like crazy, getting all this intel. Making a move, taking the map, make a move, take some control. Not sure if he meant to do that. I guarantee he did not mean to do that. He gets not out okay. okay. Down. And it's a four, four all. Four. Oh, and Baby Merchant just comes in and gets a kill. T a little slow on the trigger there. Feel like that should have been called out with that evil eye. And Bapo and Paladin both taking a little bit of health away from each other there. We got Baby Merchant going down now, bringing it back to a three all. Comet's taking some damage. Wandsboro going down. Sudo is almost dead as well. Comet's going, or Comet is the last alive. It's a two v two v one. Plant is going down. We'll see if see what happens here. Comet's taking damage. Attackers are activating the bomb diffuser. Oh. And that's it for uh, ATTC. Uh, well played season to them, bringing us to our final of Vividation versus Los Chicos Locos. Yeah, um, we have our final, ladies and gentlemen. And it is a rematch that I know a few people wanted so um we will get to that momentarily we are going to give everybody a minute um and get everything set up but uh yeah we'll be we'll be back soon